Give me some things to me. Ha! Say what? Uh, uh. The ups and downs are worth it. Uh. Woo! Come on! Woo! Ha! Woo! What is going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Junior's World of Soul. I am back with a new video. Hype, as y'all can see. You know what I'm saying? I'm here to represent R&B Soul the right way. As y'all can see, I came in with the Carters Love Happy. This joint is official as hell. Like, I had to open the video with this. And this is so crazy because my brother Sin heard the album before me. And he was like, yo, I know for a fact you're going to love Love Happy. He was like, I got a feeling you're going to open new current R&B bangers with this video and with this song. And he's absolutely right. Like, this song is dope. You know what I'm saying? Um, I must say, the Carters came with, um, no. What I can say is one of the Carters came with uh, the flavor with uh, Everything Is Love album. And I'm sorry, I I mean, Beyonce came and did her thing. Jay-Z was not needed for me. I'm sorry, just my opinion, he was not needed. Beyonce did her thing, for real. She held her own, spazzing out, spitting, singing, everything. You know what I'm saying? She did her thing on this record. But you can't call the album, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You can't say The Carters and Jay-Z is not on it. So you got to respect it, you know, at the end of the day. Um, look. <laughs> Everything is love is on all streaming platforms. Listen, they don't need no promotion from me because they got uh, enough promotion. I just wanted to come in with the record because I think the record is dope. And I just wanted to come in with my red cup just rocking. So, for real, for real, Love Happy is my joint, for real. So, let's get into this. Y'all, I am back with this week's current R&B bangers. Now, if you're new to Junior's World of Soul, current R&B bangers is all about... Prove it to mainstream that R&B is not dying and it's alive and well. You know, right now, um, mainstream really gives the impression that, you know, R&B is dying and, you know, we don't have it. And that's not true at all. You know what I'm saying? R&B is out there. You just got to search for it and you got to find it. You know what I'm saying? And that's just sad. You know what I'm saying? So here at Junior's World of Soul... I got it for you. You know what I'm saying? I go on SoundCloud. I go on different websites. I go searching because I want to give uh, unsigned artists and signed artists. Because you have signed artists that's not just getting the, the love that they deserve. You know what I mean? So, um, I just want for R&B to have another platform so people can know, listen, R&B is out here and it's alive and well. And I just want mainstream to stop putting R&B on the back burner, acting like it's not a moneymaker. At the end of the day, all the music, especially hip hop, who is the number one moneymaker right now, the root is R&B music. So R&B can never not be a moneymaker. You know what I'm saying? So, um... I can go all day about that, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm just here to prove mainstream wrong because R&B soul is alive and well and it will remain being alive and well, you know what I'm saying? But I don't want to keep y'all too long this week. I got four bangers for y'all, so hopefully, you know, when y'all hear them, y'all enjoy them, y'all will support them, and then y'all can just be just like me, you know what I'm saying? So we can prove that R&B soul is alive and well, you know what I'm saying? So let's get into this. Well, starting with the first joint, it's, it's actually from an artist who has always been soulful, but because of music politics, they kept her music pop. And I and listen, her voice can't be denied. When you hear her voice, you can't help it. And I'm talking about Miss Christina Aguilera. You know what I'm saying? Her voice has always been soulful. You know what I'm saying? So when she came out with her first album, it was presented to the pop world. But her voice was just soulful. So when they're asking her in interviews, who is your in inspirations? Who are you inspired by? Of course, you got to say the Whitney Houston's, the Mariah Carey's. But she would say Etta James and Sarah Vaughn and Errol Fitzgerald. And those were her influences and you can just hear it in her voice it, it was nothing you can do and especially when she sung live it was just like "Ooh, this girl got soul in her but then christina came with her second album which was stripped and the label let a little bit more r&b get into the album but it was still sold to the pop world you know what i'm saying um because if you listen to that album 
with songs like Walk Away, Loving Me For Me, Unappreciated, Impossible, Get Mine, Get Yours, even Dirty. These songs really have an R&B vibe to them. You just can't help it. You know what I'm saying? Again, it's just her voice. Her voice is it's just too soulful. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, um, but by the time she got to the third album, which is Back to Basics, which is my favorite, which was strictly an R&B soul type of album um, because, you know, she took it back to the basics where she really loved music. She started, you know, um, she took it back to the basics. She took it back to jazz. She took it back to blues. She took it back to soul. She took it back to all the soul artists that she liked. She took it back to all those. So she started getting, for this album, she got a lot of soul and hip-hop producers such as DJ Premier, and she got... Um, Kwame, and she ended up getting um, Mark Ronson, and she got a lot of producers that really understood jazz and soul and things like that, and she put it into one album that I thought was amazing, and this album is dope, and I'm going to play a song from it, which is my favorite, which was produced by DJ Premier, and explains why this album was the way it is, so here was track three. And uh, it goes a little something like this. Here we go. Of yesterday, open your mouth and join the rock it out tonight and grab that soul train. Back in the day, back in the day, uh, back in the day, back. Oh, won't you take me back, yeah? Woo! Uh -uh. Woo. Come on, man. That song is dope. You cannot help it. That song is dope. And it really was kind of the basics of this album. You know what I'm saying? And I think it's so dope. So, y'all, I recommend this album. Anybody that comes to me and say, what album from Christina would you recommend? I recommend Back to Basics because I feel like it was her roots. It was really who Christina was and how she fell in love with music. Everybody kind of goes to strip because that's kind of like her coming out and she was kind of able to kind of express herself the way she wanted to. But I feel like Back to Basics was who Christina really, really was, just in my opinion, and how she fell in love with music. So, you know, that that album is just dope to me. So I definitely recommend it. And I, I recommend Strip as well. But, you know, after that, it's like after Back to Basics, Christina kind of been hit or miss for me. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, with the Lotus album and the Bionic album, it's kind of been a little hit or miss for me. You know what I'm saying? And I'm a body of work type of guy. Give me a body of work. I don't want just, okay, I like maybe five songs and that's it. Like, no, I want a full album and it's been hit or miss for me. You know what I'm saying? So finally, maybe a year ago, Christina was like, she was in the studio, she's doing more music, but then she said this album was really going to be R&B based, and I said, I was hyped, I was like, oh, Christina, this is what I've been wanting, I want an R&B based album from you, you got the voice, you can carry it, you know what I'm saying, this is, you know, she's soulful, you, you can't help it, just her voice it is what it is, so um, when she came out with the first single, Accelerate, I was not a fan of it. I said, Christina, I know you're not going to go into this trap thing, which I understand because sometimes you have to. But I just felt like Accelerate just did not do anything for me. I was just like, oh, Christina, what are you doing? Like, I'm not feeling this joint. But then she came out with a uh, fall in line with uh, Demi Devado, which I do like. And then the song Twice, which is amazing. Background vocals is everything on that song. So finally Friday she releases the album and Liberation, I love it. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I can do without Accelerate. But other than that, Christina did her thing. But I felt like with this album, her first single should have been kind of smooth because the album is smooth. It's a smooth album. And I feel like your first single should really kind of give the people what the album is going to be about. And I think this song, Like I Do, should have been the first single for real. And that's why it's the first joint of current army bangers. It's a smooth vibe, but it's just dope, y'all. So um, here's the first joint. And here is Like I Do. And it goes a little something like this. Just can't help 
Uh. 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 Do it quite like I do. Ooh. Uh, just a like little smooth out. You got groove with it, man. This song is smooth. And come on, y'all. This and it got a nice little trap beat ish to it. And it's just a smooth vibe. And it's mad smooth. And I felt like Christina, this song should have been the first single. And you could have hit him with this. You know what I'm saying? And guess who produced this? This is what I'm hyped for. Guess who produced this? The soul brother himself, one of the new Rat Pack crew that I, I put him with. I put him with BJ the Chicago Kid and I put him with Ro James. I'm talking about Anderson Pat. Anderson Pat blessed Christina with two joints on this album. But like I do is it. This joint needs to be a single for real. And it's featuring Gold Link. And it's just smooth and it's dope. And that's why I was like, Christina, this needs to be a single. So I know the Fall in Line is right now. I think that's what the single is right now. But after Fall in Line, this, you need to go with this, man. Especially with an R&B based album, this joint needs to be a single for real. But uh, y'all, I definitely recommend the Liberation album for real. It's on all streaming platforms right now. Really check it out. The more I listen to it again, the more I'm loving it. So uh, that's the first joint of current R&B bangers that is like I do. Now, speaking of Gold Link, who is the next artist that I'm about to talk about, you know, he is a rapper, yes, but he got some dope joints. And I felt like, listen, I had to talk about it, but... Uh, I was actually introduced to Gold Link by a joint by Craig David that I am still jamming to, that I love to this day. And it was, you know, on my radio uh, segment that I am on entitled The Goodness. And uh, on Thursdays, on the last Thursday of the month, from 2 to 4, I do my top five R&B bangers of the month. And this song was actually... The second time I did it, it wasn't the first time, it was the second time, and this was the number one song. This song is dope, and this is how I was introduced to Gold Link. And this joint deserves so much more than what it got, and it's still a banger, and it's still knocked, and it still make you want to move. Like, so, here was Living the Moment. Door closes, another one open. Stop trying to control it. Start living in a moment. Come on in, go link. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> I love that record. Like, I don't know it's old verse, but I do love that record. And this song is just dope, yo. So, this joint was produced by one of my favorite producers right now. And I'm talking about K Trinata. Like, this dude is the truth. When it comes to producing, for real, like, I really feel like he's just dope. So, of course, with me, after I found this song from Craig David, I'm like, well, who the heck is Gold Link? Like, I need to find this dude. Who the heck is he? So, of course, I started doing my research, and I see he was, they say D.C., but it's uh, Bowie, Maryland. It's PG County, but everybody kind of, they just say, oh, that's D.C., but if you're not living in Maryland, you really wouldn't know. You just consider it D.C., but whatever. But um, then he um, he's residing in Virginia, you know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, so then in 2015, I saw that he hooked up with the legendary Rick Rubin, um, and he... He did a mixtape, and then he just started get, creating a buzz for himself. I mean, you're working with the legendary Rick Rubin. I mean, the, <laughs> the buzz is going to come after that. And then, like, it just came, and he started, and he got signed to RCA, and then he released his debut album, At What Cause. Now, this is crazy, because this song I knew, but was so crazy, because I'm a fan of Jasmine Sullivan, so I knew this record. And I started and I started following K Tronada. So I knew this record, but I just didn't know the rapper on it. And it's crazy because now when I listen to it, I'm like, oh my God, this was Golding all along. Like, are you kidding me? But this song, Meditation, deserves so much more love than what it got off his debut album at, at what cost. And this joint is dope. And I just gotta play it. And um, here we go. It goes a little something like this. So 
it's crazy because I love this joint and I just did not know this was Gold Link. I was like, what? You know what I'm saying? It is crazy. And this song deserves so much shine. Like I said, yo, y'all are sleeping on K Trinata. This dude is dope for real. But this is about Gold Link right now. So y'all check out Gold Link's uh, debut at, at what cost. I'm checking it out right now because K Trinata actually has three joints on there that he produced. That's dope. And there's some other joints on there that's dope just as well. But I'm just getting into it. And I think it's a dope record. So I really recommend it to y'all. You know what I'm saying? So check it out. You know what I'm saying? But Golink has a new joint with Miguel that's just so smooth. And I listen, it has an R&B type of vibe to it. I had to talk about it. You know what I'm saying? I know y'all like Golink is a rapper, though. But I'm like, the joint he got with Miguel is just so smooth. And it has an R&B vibe to it. I said, listen, when it's an R&B vibe, why not talk about it on current R&B bangers? Why not? So, um, again, this joint is entitled Got Friends. And it's a dope joint. And y'all cannot tell me when you hear this that it's not an R&B vibe. So... Here is Got Friends, and uh, here we go. All of my bitches got friends. Yeah. All of my bitches got friends. Woo! Bad devil. Woo! Uh, uh, uh. Bring it back, bring it back. All of my bitches got friends. <laughs> and they bad, they bad, they bad. Uh, it's got friends. Uh, <laughs> I don't care. You know what I'm saying? I think it's so dope. I think the song is so dope. And I was like, come on. Y'all didn't feel like the R&B feel of that record? Like, it still has an R&B feel on that record. You know what I'm saying? And of course, it feels soulful. Miguel brings more soul to it. You know what I'm saying? And it just goes to show that Gold Link, he knows good R&B style music because he first got on it with um Craig David and then he did the joint with Jasmine Sullivan and then this you know what I'm saying so he knows soul and it's all in his music so hey if it's R&B based yes he's a rapper but he obviously respects R&B because he has some nice R&B ish joints so that's why I had to talk about it but again this joint is entitled Got Friends it's on all streaming platforms now I don't know if he's bringing out a new album but I know his debut is at what course is on there but this is just a new single so y'all check out uh, Gold Link and I'll put all his information in the more info box now the next artist is a dude that I was talking about that I talked about in the beginning of current R&B bangers when I started this in 2016 and I'm talking about my boy Kurt Quinn now I was introduced to Kurt by his dual album his I guess we can call it a, 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 a um, uh, damn <laughs> wait I'm gonna take a sip like my boy uh, um, Vegas said he'd be like uh, it's a break. I got to take a break. Give me a second. Damn, I still can't. <laughs> um, I'm going to just say a dual album. That's what I'm going to say. A duet album. Wow, I couldn't even come up with duet. Y'all, that's crazy. But <laughs> uh, I figured the drink would help me. It ain't help me. I maybe need to put something a little strong in it. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it'll help me. But anyway... Um, his duet album with On Key and they entitled it Universe Soul and uh, this joint I was jamming too hard um, uh, at the end of uh, 2006 into 2007 and I was talking about this joint a couple of times on current Army Bangers because they had dope dope records off this uh, they had Show Me Heartbeat with uh, Smoke from um, from Player um, they had a joint entitled Complicated, the, the one and two. Them joints is dope, but the joint on the album that I really was introduced to both of them by was a song that I'm not ready. And this joint is dope. The background vocals is everything, and that's why I really enjoyed about the record. So here is I'm Not Ready, and uh, here we go. Come on, man. Y'all didn't feel that background vocals right there? Like, I'm crazy for background vocals. And if you give it to me and you sound right, 
dope. You know what I'm saying? That's how I was introduced to them. And yo, their album Universal is still on um, SoundCloud. Y'all can definitely check it out. But you know, both on key and Kurt Quinn, a solo artist. You know what I'm saying? So after that, um, Kurt Quinn dropped a, a club banging title, Fly. And, um, you know, it's just so good that I follow, you know, artists, you know, unsigned artists, you know, on social media because you can see what they're doing, how they're creating and, and things like that. So I, I follow him on Instagram. So it's like I'm like I'm checking like when the new music, when the new music, you know what I'm saying? So finally, about a week ago, he hit me. And he was like, yo, I got a new record out. I'm like, OK, yo, send it to me, send it to me. So when he sent it to me. I was like, I'm going to check it out right now. So he was like, all right, all right, cool. So I checked it out, and I said, yo, you got one with this one. This joint is dope. It's entitled Far Away. It's a smooth bop. Like, it's really a smooth bop, like, for real. And I was like, yo, this joint is crazy. I'm going to talk about this joint on the show. So um, this joint is entitled Far Away, and it's so dope. And um, it goes a little something like this. Here we go. <laughs> I'm, I'm still learning the words forgive me I'm still learning the words but this song is smooth like you can just catch it it's just a smooth vibe and if you can't come on it, you cannot tell me you cannot know this song I mean he's saying the lit he's saying far away so many times in this record this song kind of reminds me of like when in vogue um my love and never gonna get it. They said it throughout the whole song. So it's like, how could you not know this song? Like, it's very catchy and it's just a smooth bop, but it still has that knock to it. You know what I'm saying? And I can see myself rocking to this joint, like coming home on a Friday from work after a hard week. And I just put this joint on and I just vibe out with them. You know what I'm saying? In the car, just riding. You know what I'm saying? With the windows down, it just it's just you in the road and you just thinking about, you know what I'm saying? You thinking about somebody that's far away that you're close to. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, you know, got me missing my family. You know what I'm saying? They're far away from me. My mom, my grandmas, you know what I'm saying? You think I'm thinking about, you know, my, one of my best friends, which is my brother Sin that I talk about in my videos. You know what I'm saying? He's in Michigan and he's far away. And some and you know, my friends are here, you know what I'm saying? We work a lot, so it's hard for us to see each other, you know what I'm saying? But it's just like it makes you get in your thoughts. And you could definitely tell that he made this song from a personal place. You can definitely feel it. You know what I'm saying? And like I always say, when it's from the heart, it reaches the heart. You know what I'm saying? And I just think this song is just dope for real. It deserves shine. You know what I'm saying? Um, Far Away is on all streaming networks right now. Wherever you listen to Spotify, Apple Music, whatever, this song is out there. Support this joint for real, for real. I'm going to put all Kirk Quinn's information in the more info box. I really want y'all to check this dude out. But Far Away is a banger. And Kirk. I must say, brother, I'm hearing those background vocals. And you know I'm a, back, a background vocal person, and you gave it to me on this record. So, salute to you, brother. All right, so the last artist is an artist I discovered on SoundCloud Radio. Her name is Kayla Brianna. Now, this time I was jamming to SoundCloud Radio, and SoundCloud Radio must have was having a bad day or something because all the songs they were playing was not good. I don't like to say trash because I just feel that's just horrible just to say people stuff is trash when they put their they things into it. You know what I'm saying? It just, it, it kind of just like, you, when you be like, yeah, it's garbage or it's trash, it's like, well, damn, really? Jesus. <laughs> but, you know, I, they weren't good. So after a while, I was just starting to get annoyed. I'm like, SoundCloud, really? Like, today is a day that I'm listening to y'all and I'm getting all these songs that I'm just not feeling, you know what I'm saying? So after a while, I just stopped paying attention. I can hear music in the background and if they ain't doing nothing for me, I can just not pay attention to it. So I started, you know, just doing what I was doing. I think I was cleaning the house or something. And then finally a song came on and I just went up because I, yes, I was about to take the vacuum out and I, 
I took it out of the closet and my head was down. And when the song came on and it was about maybe 30 seconds in, I was like, whoa, who is that? So, of course, I just stopped everything, ran to the computer and saw that her name was Kayla, um, Kayla Brianna. So... I'm like, well, I'm hearing the vocals. I was like, I'm liking the song. And maybe because it was finally, I had a song that I actually liked after all those bad songs. And I was like, ooh, finally something good. You know what I'm saying? But it's really a good song. So, of course, my research started because I'm like, who, in my mind not thinking, who the heck is Kayla Brianna? Then I realized, I said, wait a minute. This is Kenny Smith, the basketball Ike legend. That's on TNT right now. You know what I'm saying? Him and Charles and Shaq and Ernie. And I'm like, this is his daughter. I remember her. I was like, oh, man, she can sing. You know what I'm saying? And I was just like, wait a minute. My research stops right here because I don't need it anymore because I know she can sing. You know what I'm saying? So because her joint, um, I Got That is a bop and work for it. Those two joints is those two joints not, and I really like those songs. And then I saw her do it live, cause some people can have a child when they say, "Oh, they talented," and you be like, mm, "No, ain't no auto tune can just help this." No, but this girl can actually sing, so I was like, "Okay, she's dope." So the song that I was introduced to uh, of her on SoundCloud Radio was "Confused," and this song deserves shine. And I like it, and I enjoy it. So uh, this is the last year on the current Army Bangers, and this is uh, Kayla Brianna with Confused. So here we go. Nice little smooth little bop to it. I like it. I enjoyed it. You know what I'm saying? And you hear those words? She said, I'm so over you. You got me so confused. Lord, that hits home. Because me, I can, I like how I can connect to a song. And she's talking about a relationship. I, and in a way, I'm talking about, I guess, one. But um, I'm thinking like, you know how... At first, I'm like, I'm so over this, but why did this person do this? Like, why would they do something like that? You know what I'm saying? And then it's just like, after a while, it's just like, you know what? I'm just over it. I'm over you. You know what I'm saying? It's done. It's 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 a wrap. You know what I mean? So, you know, that's what music should be about anyway. Connect. It should connect how songs should connect to you however you want it. You know what I'm saying? She's talking about a, a, a relationship with, um, you know, a guy or something like that. And, you know, it, I'm taking it from, you know, something about a friendship. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. It's just crazy. But it, that's what music is all about. You know what I'm saying? So, um, Confused is connected to home right now. So, me, that may be another reason why I was really, really digging the record for real. But uh, I'm going to put all of Kayla's info in the more info box. Yo, check her out. She's dope. But Confused is definitely a banger. And that's why I had to talk about it on this current R&B banger as well. Those are your four joints for the week. Um, it's Christina Aguilera with Like I Do featuring Gold Link. Gold Link with Miguel, um, Got Friends. Kurt Quinn with uh, Far Away. And Kayla Brianna with Confused. As y'all can see, all of these songs are R&B based but yet have a different sound. But see, mainstream don't put it like that. They just want everybody to have the same sound. It sucks when you see people online and you hear when people listen to the radio. I don't know who is who anymore and that's sad you know what i'm saying like all these songs had a, a r&b base it was an r&b based record but it still was it had a different sound like christina didn't sound like gold link gold link didn't sound like kirk quinn kirk quinn didn't sound like kayla brianna and that's what it should be about and this one 
everybody should be getting shine, not just the same ones doing the same music anyway. It's like you can't even be inspired. And you have people that listen to the radio to be inspired. How can you be inspired and everybody sounds the same? You know what I'm saying? But again, here at Junior's World of Soul, I'm here to show you that R&B is alive and well. Clearly, I just gave you four bangers. But y'all, I uh, really want y'all to share this video like it subscribe to the channel you know what i'm saying um i'm trying to get up there with my subscribers you know what i'm saying just y'all can see the real authentic me i have no no nothing i just it's just me you know what i'm saying so um definitely hopefully you guys subscribe like i said share it to your friends you know that love r&b music that would be dope but um i just want to give R&B the platform that I feel like it deserves, you know what I'm saying, but I kept y'all long enough, I didn't want to keep y'all this long, but I'm going to get out of here because um, there's a special album that's turning 30 tomorrow, and it's very important to my life, and um, I am talking about Bobby Brown, Don't Be Cruel, this album is turning 30 tomorrow, along with the new edition, uh, Heartbreak album, but... This album is very important to my life because there were three albums that my parents played that everybody could listen to. Listen to because my dad was an, uh, a hip hop head and my mom was an R and B soul head, which y'all can see. That's where I clearly get my music knowledge from. My music teacher, which is my mom, and um, there were three albums that they always had to have, and it was Bobby Brown's "Don't Be Cruel," it was Guy's "Guy" album, which came out a week ago, a week before the Bobby Brown album, which that album turned 30 as well, and Janet's Rhythm Nation album. Those three albums that my mom and dad could play and everybody was happy with because it had a hip-hop vibe, then it was singing, so everything was good. You know what I'm saying? The, my dad, who was the hip-hop head, was happy, and my mom, the R&B soul head, was happy. So um, I felt like I wanted to go out with this album because this album is very important in my life, and I said, why not go out with... The king of R&B, like the late Whitney Houston said. And um, this album, it was really one of the biggest albums of the 80s. So um, I felt like, why not go out with this? So um, happy 30th to the Bobby Brown Don't Be Cruel album. And we can sing along like this. Here we go. Uh, you should be giving me your heart too huh you just keep on like it just like a fool you know it ain't cool ha I don't be cruel hey I'm out y'all peace